Okay guys, I'm going to show you the stuff that I got when I was in Illinois. I got this hat that says I can't even, these gloves that say Hocus Pocus, and this awesome beautiful poncho with a bunch of colors. I don't want to put it on right now because it would be too hot and the poncho's in the trunk anyways. So here's the rest that I'm going to show you right now. I had to get something that's from Illinois so I got Fannie Mae. This is a small box because that's what I wanted. And I had the um, mint ones though and like a small wrapper ones and they were good. And I'm gonna have these along with eating the apple for today because it keeps the doctor away. You don't know why they call it doctors. How sweet, Fanny May wrapped them up so nicely. This is the best thing that I got in Illinois and one of the best things I have ever gotten. My friend's autograph from the Violet Femmes. I know the drummer. Isn't this cool? Love you, John Spiro. You rock. That's what JS stands for. I end up getting this. This is one of the coolest things. <gasps> is he cute? I had to get a ballpoint pen or a sharpie, whatever you call this, so he could sign my hat. So that's something else I got. And to be honest, I'm like harmony. Should I get earplugs, these for the plane? And then I end up not using them because part of my phone charger, um, I accidentally left at the hotel or something. So I lost, um, two things in Illinois. I lost my um, cardigan that was clam camouflage. That's one of the best that I probably showed in the video. And I lost the back of my phone charger. So I just had the um, the plug-in, just not the um, outlet thing that goes in the wall. So, I, and nobody else had, had any available. My mom thought hers would work for mine, but she doesn't have an iPhone, so it didn't work. So I had to charge the phone on the plane because they have it where you can on the back of the seat. So I didn't use these, but I'll always have these for another time. And I'm going to show you some of the best stuff I got at my favorite, one of my favorite stores called the Painted Tree Outlet. This. And my mom's the one that showed me this, and it was 40% off. It says, so it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. You're going to have to work at this every day. But I can't really read all of it. It's hard to read. But it's from the notebook, and the other side says, I could be whatever you want. You just tell me what you want, and I'm going to be that for you. I think I'm going to put this, put it this way, because this one's easier to read. And then I'm going to show you some more that I got there. And just a few stuff from Sables. I didn't do much there. At Maya, I got this because it makes me think of the shirt I was wearing for the console and my friend, because he's a drummer and isn't this so cool and it wasn't very expensive so this is one of my favorite Halloween purchases ever and I love the glitter on it and I happened to be wearing glitter that night. This is like the coolest thing that I got at um, the painted tree boutique. Yeah these are kind of expensive. And it even has a card for the business in it. But you know what? This is my first one of these. 
and this is what they had so many to choose from but it's, I like that it has like two of my favorite movies it says what's your favorite scary movie obviously from Scream and then it says you W-H-O-R-E which is mangoes and it's pink for like on Wednesdays we wear pink so this is so cool and Horn Gang collects these. She has more than I do. Like five. <laughs> Maybe I should collect them too. Let me know. I got this old time gum because I really like old time gum. Um, I know most of us do not like black licorice, but in the gum it actually doesn't taste bad. So I got these. I remember having these as a kid. So my main luggage that I was bringing for the trip in Illinois, the bag literally broke um, while I was at the airport, I think, when I got to Illinois. So we had to get a new luggage for me. It's not brand new. It's from the thrift shop because these are so expensive. Brand new. I'm talking about like 80 bucks. I paid less than 10 for this. Thanks, Mom, for helping me out with a good one. See, it has all of these spots to put things in. This is where I put that cool cup that I showed you. It was like perfect for it, right here. By the way, this I'll show you the short that I got. If you want to get the short, it's a Christmas, Nightmare Before Christmas short. I literally got this at Walmart in the men's section, and I want to say it was like 10 bucks or less. So a very good, inexpensive, really cool short. And I love how big the moon is. And I only got like one outfit from Savers. I'll see if I could find it. By the way, this, this happened both times, going to Illinois and then coming back to Ellen, from Illinois to Florida. They asked, oh, do any of you want to um, hand over your um, luggage for free because we don't have enough room and we'll put it, on, put it under the um, plane? And so we did that. And I forgot that I had this in my suitcase. It was one of my souvenirs, really. This was at Illinois, the last one that they had of a snow globe. So I have to be careful not to cut my finger. That's why I'm being really careful. And this is really delicate right now. Only the glass and water part the glitter broke, so I'm gonna keep this, see Chicago, until I can try to get a new one. If I remember that was in there, I would have taken it out. Here, I'm gonna share some of the jewelry and sunglasses that I got. This one's like literally about to break now. It's supposed to be like this. I did remember about these earrings, not to have them in the um, suitcase, so I remember to take these out. Actually, I took these out before I even knew about anything, because I didn't want these to even break in the port where you put the luggage on the plane, so I kept it in my purse by me, and I did the right thing. Actually, I might have been wearing them. All these, like, the most unique, cool this earrings and they were a good deal. They were not even $10 and these are from the Painted Tree. By the way, they had a lot of unique ones like this. And they're like orange glass of balls, perfect for the full time. I end up getting the pumpkin glasses because I'm like, I don't always see these and sometimes they have them at Dollar Tree but they're not as cool so I got these. I also go to have a, um, Halloween Breach Sweat watch coming up to share with you. Yes, I need to do my nails. Let me know in the comments what colors should I do my nails next. I'm being um like a devil for Halloween, but I might have two costumes. I might, so good and bad. 
I'm thinking about being Casper. That's a good one. And then the devil. Because I came up with those ideas. And I'm already thinking of ideas for next year. I'm wearing this shirt with the big moon of Nightmare Before Christmas. And then Jack Skeleton is dead. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to show you some jewelry that I got and some stuff for Harmony. First off, I got these cool magnets. It reminds me of the band Poison, which is one of my favorite bands. Nothing but a good time. Also, it reminds me of Halloween. So, I'm going to take the back of these and put it on my mail that I put magnets on sometimes. Let's see if it works. Okay, these are the stickers that I got for Harmony because she loves Nightmare Before Christmas and she's being pretty for Halloween. And I got her some patches and I got the Taylor Swift one and these are the jewelry that I got. A necklace, another necklace, bracelet, earrings, Shit's Creek magnet, and David, a bracelet, a watch. Some Taylor Swift ones. They had them um, for screen earrings. They will go with my cup. They had every Taylor Swift album, but I decided to get those two because Reputation's my favorite and level because the hearts. I wanted to get them all, but that would have been like over a hundred bucks. Those skull earrings. So that's my haul. Peace, love, and harmony. Oh, they squeal earrings along with the lemonade which happens to be my favorite drink and this charm right here that i could put on a necklace we didn't get to go to the scarecrow festival but that's cool also you know what we're go good with this bracelet i got it's a necklace that i already have peace love and harmony have a great halloween week by the way, I do have one more necklace that's an eye, and I got it on the vacation, and it looks like a little Illuminati, but I can't find where I put it. Maybe they took it. Okay, I'm gonna do my nose wide, probably.